A man has been sentenced to death in North Korea after he smuggled copies of Squid Game into the country. I read about this and I was horrified to learn about it. So if you haven't heard about this story, I thought it was worth sharing with you because it's it's important to know that these things are still happening around the world. It's horrible when bad things happen. I just find it more horrific when it's governments who are involved in these horrific decisions. So I'm gonna share a few more details about this story and then afterwards I'll share my personal thoughts and feelings Hopefully they don't come across as, you know, self-centered or like I'm making it about me, but I just thought I'd share it with you. So this is courtesy of Radio Free Asia and the reports are the following. North Korea has sentenced to death a man who smuggled and sold copies of the Netflix series Squid Game after authorities caught seven high school students watching the Korean language global hit show Sources in the Country told RFA. The smuggler is said to have brought a copy of Squid Game into North Korea, back from China and sold USB flash drives containing the series. Sources said his sentence would be carried out by firing squad. A student who bought a drive received a life sentence, while six others who watched the show have been sentenced to five years hard labour and teachers and school administrators have been fired and faced banishment to work in remote mines, the sources said. RFA reported last week that copies of the violent drama had arrived in the reclusive country despite the best efforts of authorities to keep out foreign media. They began spreading among the people on flash drives and SD cards. Now, I can understand on some level that importing media on USBs and flash drives that the country don't want in there can be seen as a crime, right? I think there's 110,000 worse crimes, okay, but that is seen as a crime. But for that to be punishable by death is flipping horrendous. Absolutely. It horrifies me and I hope it horrifies you too. So my personal thoughts are, well, yes, this is horrible. It's a horrible story. It's a complete human rights violation. I don't know what human rights organisations are out there that could maybe investigate this story, look at saving this man's life because it's just, it's horrible. And I keep saying the word horrible, but it absolutely is. But I suppose my personal take is as a person who lives in the United Kingdom, it makes me realize how fortunate I am. Fortunate that I can just watch something like this video on demand. I watch it on Netflix. I watch it in the comfort of my living room at home. And I'm not thinking about, oh, are the police gonna come? Are the authorities gonna come and bang on my door and say, you shouldn't be watching this. We have so much freedom <laughs> in the UK, in the West. You know, this is Netflix is the most popular show. I'm one of the tens of millions of people who've been able to watch this show without worrying, without thinking about human rights violations. I've been able to watch it in comfort and I've been able to enjoy it. The other takeaway that I thought about is how flippant we can be sometimes with how much we say we enjoy a show. Now, whether you like a show or you dislike a show is, is your opinion. That's personal. That's absolutely fine. But sometimes we can watch things and someone will ask us, you know, what did you think of Squid Game? Well, it was crap. Oh, it was crap, was it? Well, why was it crap? Well, I don't know, it was just crap. And I think when you're so desperate to be able to watch media like this and have the freedom to enjoy it, when you're desperate to watch it, you're gonna, you're gonna, really gonna take it in. You might not like it, but I think you're, you're gonna say a bit more, well, it was crap, didn't like it. Because that to me just shows a level of entitlement and, and a level of freedom where you just take things for granted. It's a, it's a strange point that I'm making. I'm not saying that you have to enjoy everything that you watch, but I think you need to be able to appreciate the fact that you get to watch these things for free. So yeah, that is the, that, that's my takeaway. The main thing is that this is a horrible thing. I really hope something can be done. I really hope that man can be helped. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what happens in that part of the world. I don't know what human rights organizations might get involved. I don't know if this is just the end of the road for him. So Listen, in the comment section, if you know anything else about this story, if you get updated before I do, please share it. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this story. Let me know what you think about human rights and violations and the freedoms that we have if you live in a Western part of the world where you can just watch whatever you like without any consequences. Please do that. And it feels awful saying this, but please, you know, subscribe to the channel. Please stay tuned with what happens here because... I'm just sharing what's happening in the world of movies and television. And this is one of the stories that I thought was worth sharing with you. So please uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned. Come back and watch more videos. And yeah, look after yourselves. Look after one another. Appreciate what you've got. Thanks for watching. Take care.